Hey guys, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. We're doing TikTok 27. Will the internet ever end? Let's see. How normal people take photos? <laughs> Cute! I hope that's... <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. But I'm also like, are you dropping water? Because that's breaking your shoes. When boss asks you to think out of the box. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, is that a mask? This is so that's actually hilarious. How the heck do ballerinas do this? Look at that posture. Wait, that's so good. Wait, what do you mean? That's so good. That's awesome. Oh, point you graveyard. People collect art, people collect stamps. People collect little statues and dolls, but I collect clothes. <laughs> that's so amazing. Point you brands as sounds. I don't even know what to expect. Rich, we're rich. rich. That's accurate. I don't get it. What are the That's really funny. I only agreed with one of them, but I don't understand the rest. Timothy Chalamet look alike. How ballet dancers break in break in docks? You are so stunning. Those look like some heavy mofos, man. Those look so heavy. Wow, the fact that you can go on point. <laughs> oh, no! I want a little baby like this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That booty though. Is this like a dog show? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not even watching her. The dog is just so cute. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a black swan too. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. If there's a dog anywhere, I will not pay attention to anyone else. Dog is. They're dope. <laughs> the little crawl. That is the cutest thing ever. If I wasn't allergic to dogs, I would have 70 dogs. <laughs> it's so true. That's why when all these things happen on stage, all the mishaps, like dancers can still look like they're perfect. How about you, chasse part of a ray out of my way? Hey, new kid, show me your arches, huh? Or maybe we can be friends. My name's Jake. Oh, her? That's Diane. She was voted most likely to be a principal dancer by the age of 18. It would be a shame if she got addicted to a certain substance by episode three. Get up, newbie. Everybody knows that it's balance, balance, see some. Of course, Justin doesn't like you. Do you really think a straight man would want to be in Swan Lake? Oh my gosh, we all grew up with it though, you know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. That is green. They must be so nervous. Us two minutes before curtain. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the green point shoes. This is so great. <laughs> This is the best. Dance friends are the best friends. Just give us some music, you know what I mean? It's the best.
Nobody wants to talk about the... Nobody wants to talk about the, the burdens of being a male ballet dancer. I mean, it's something that just gets swept under the rug. For example, financially speaking, we are on the hook for buying new ballet shoes, which can cost upwards of $17 every two, three months. Is he joking? There's also the burden on our time, having to walk every night before the show all the way to the girls' dressing room to borrow the makeup that they bought. I mean, these are the types of things that are, that are incalculable over the course of our career. We all hate you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding, I don't hate you, but you know. You know, you know. That's why you made the TikTok. Trying the Esmeralda trend again. What is the Esmeralda trend? Is <laughs> it pizza? She's like actual perfection. <laughs> Can you imagine if she actually ki <laughs> like kicks it? Okay, unrelated, but I actually love her apartment. It's so cute. Her feet, her legs, her turnout, her extensions. I'm dying. I just got one of those portable dance floors, so I thought I'd be oh, I love to these. try on all of my old point shoes. They do not fit me anymore. I was literally 12 when I got them. This next pair were also incorrectly fitted. I didn't label them left and right. Hill. Wow, why last? She has shoes from how, you look pretty young. These have been discontinued. And I I was not really able to get over. Yoik. Ooh, here comes my crisscross elastic and pre-professional dance era. Oh, here's my emo era. Size I four. I love this. Then yeah, that's I a big jump from two and a half to four. Wow. These are my only non-block point shoes. Yeah. Um, I decorated They're them all to block. Look like the twelve dancing princesses, <laughs> and I did not have the heart to actually put these on because I spent like two weeks painting these. <laughs> they look so good. So, these are my last pair of point shoes I ever had. Perfectly oh my gosh, fine, she's such small feet. That, that means she's like an adult like, size. In all that jazz. I feel like I can still get you over a little bit better though. If you ever wanted to go back on point, like I would love to fit you in a point shoe because like I feel like you've only been in one brand and like didn't really get to explore other options, you know? What I think I look like learning dance choreography. Gosh, it's so funny. Does anyone else have problems, like serious problems, learning choreography? Because like, if I don't do it full out while someone's showing me the choreography, I don't get it. Like, you know, like people can just mark with their hands and understand it. I can't do that. Oh my gosh, are you real? That's insane. Oh, I'd love to see the NBA try. <laughs> oh my gosh, so pretty. This looks like exams. Vaganova. This is so beautiful. I don't even need a performance. I'll just watch this. I'll just watch Vaganova exams. Oh, is this Cinderella? <laughs> this is like the funniest part. No, Cinderella is like pretty funny. It's a pretty funny ballet, but this is pretty hysterical. Oh, I think this is Wielden's Cinderella. This is so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. San Francisco Ballet did it this year, or this past year, season, and it's so good. I love point shoes. I love point shoes so much. It, oh, I love that. I think it's maybe part of like why I became a Ooh, ballet dancer. There's just something yes. so beautiful and pretty about them. It's yes. kind of like a rite of passage to get your first Ooh, pair of point so shoes. Pretty. I was about 10 years old when I first went on point. That's when I got my first pair of shoes. I was so excited. I'd put them on in my bedroom and like dance and like walk around in them. My mom would take me to see New York City Ballet and they would sell the old point shoes at the ballerinas like at intermission. 
and I wasn't on point yet and I was like oh my god this is amazing I need to start a collection and my mom got me some Aww. and they were like my prized possessions and I would put on the smallest ones I could find which was way too big and I would dance around in them it gives a physical connection between us and the audience that they can cherish because they have a signed shoe I think that's another really nice way for it to live on Aww. Ooh, let's see, I love these stats. English National Ballet uses more than 4,000 pairs of point shoes each season, costing 180,000 whatever system they use. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. I love that. Well, that was TikTok 27. If you guys want us to continue the series, please keep tagging us on these videos. I'll see you guys later.